Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Guess who's back? My wife is back. Man, in fact, she went already today. She put makeup on some uh, clients and she came back and we're gonna start cooking again. So what we're gonna do today is uh, Uzbekski Lipioshka in the Kazan. And then I'm gonna do a uh, katleti with the uh, french fries, mushroom, garlic, dill. So we're gonna go step by step and we'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the uh, lipioshka. So lipioshkas are Uzbek style bread. Let's start, okay? So my wife, she did her job. She showed herself to get it with me. Now she can go back and I'll do the rest of the job, okay? So I put a 500 gram of uh, flour. I used bread flour, highly recommended. Very, very nice flour for bread. And I'm just gonna sift it. Now that I sift the flour, I'm just gonna make a little hole. In. Okay, I have over here warm water. So in here, I'm gonna put one bag of yeast, one spoon of sugar, this much approximately. Now I'm gonna whisk it. Okay, now we have to leave this thing approximately around five minutes before we're gonna add it to the flour. Now that it waited five minutes, I'm gonna add it to the flour and start mixing it. I might need a little bit more water, but I'm gonna add if I need more. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, approximately a teaspoon of salt, okay? This much. Now I'm gonna add a drizzle of oil on top, see, approximately this much. Okay, and then mix it. Now I'm gonna close it and leave it for an hour. In the meanwhile, until this is gonna grow an hour from now, we're gonna start preparing the katleti. Now that the uh, flour is uh, on the side over there the, for the lipioshka, it's gonna have to stay around one hour. So I'm gonna start preparing the chicken uh, leg quarters for the katleti. Everything was cleaned up, it's around six pieces. Now I'm gonna add approximately around 10% of lamb fat. Okay, after I add the lamb fat, I'm gonna add some dill, approximately this much. Okay, so I have to chop them. For this ratio, I'm gonna put two onions. Put them over here and take all the juice out. Okay, now that I add the onion, add salt, approximately this much, and pepper. Now that I mix everything, I'm gonna pour it over here and I'm gonna let it stay for like 20 minutes. I'm chopping the garlic for the katleti. Approximately, this is like a three quarter of a whole garlic. Chopping the tomatoes it goes right after the garlic, okay, once we're gonna start cooking. So now it doesn't really matter how big or small the tomatoes are because they're all gonna melt anyway. It's approximately two tomatoes for the portion that I'm doing. I'm gonna prepare the french fries, cut them. Since we still have time, waiting for the dough. Okay, after I cut the potatoes, it's always good to keep it inside the water until you're gonna start cooking them. Otherwise they will change color. I'm gonna prepare the shiitake mushroom, very delicious. You should try this. Okay, on this mushroom you should cut the stem because they're usually hard, okay? okay I'm gonna start the fire right now. Okay, I'm gonna fry the katleti a little bit before we're gonna put them in the pot. Okay. Just fry them for a few seconds on each side till they're golden. Same oil that I fried the katleti on, I'm gonna add a little bit to the kazan, continue cooking the katleti. And now I'm gonna add the garlic. You have to be very careful with the garlic. They cook very, very fast. You don't want to burn it. Okay, now I'm going to add the tomatoes. After I add the garlic, tomatoes, now I'm going to add all my katleti inside. This is an eight ounce tomato sauce. I'm going to add maybe like three quarter of this. Boiling water, salt. For now, we're going to put a little bit less salt because we add in the katleti itself salt. So we have to check while we cook how it's going. Paprika, also a little bit, and black pepper. Okay, mix it. We're gonna let it cook for half an hour. This one is done. Now we're gonna jump to the french fries and the bread and everything else. Close it for half an hour. Okay guys, I have three parts going on, you see? So this one is gonna be for the lipioshka, okay? Katleti has already started cooking. I just wanna give you a little update. Look what's going on inside. Looking very good. Okay, this has another 25 minutes easily. This one is for fresh ones. 
this section is going to be for uh, mushrooms soon, okay? So let's start working on the lipioshka and put the lipioshka on. One hour passed by. I'm going to take my dough out. Looks very puffy. Look at this. Looking good. Now I'm going to split my dough for four. Small one because my pot is not that big. I'm going to make a little bowl. Now we're going to cover them a little bit and we're going to leave them for another 10 minutes. Guys, I'm going to start making, preparing my lipioshka right now. Let me just prepare the egg, white egg. Okay, I'm preparing the shape of the my lipioshka and then make a little hole with a fork. Now that I formed them, I'm gonna put egg yolk all over. So we're gonna put two different topping on top. We're gonna put za'atar and uh, everything seasoning, which has happened to be my favorite. Everything seasoning. Should we go for the third one for this? No. Yeah, let's go for the third one. <laughs> okay. Let's go for the third one. And then we're gonna put one with za'atar. The fourth one, we're gonna put za'atar. It tastes very, very good. I like za'atar. Okay, let's go stick them in the... Before we're gonna stick them, we're gonna take the egg white and mix it nice scissors like I do because we're gonna put it in the back of the bread. This way it should get stuck to the pot, okay? The pot is nice and hot, waiting for the lipioshka to come. You gotta take the lipioshka and put egg white all over, okay? And there we go. I always used to tell to my wife I'm a chef, she always used to laugh at me. <laughs> So I'm now, still now, now she can realize it, that she just married a chef. Egg white all over. That's considered as a crazy glue for for Uzbeki people. That's a crazy glue. <laughs> you know why? Otherwise, it won't get stuck. Looking good. Now we're gonna close it for. It has to cook around half an hour. So I'm gonna keep you updated what's going on. Okay. It's 15 minutes passed by. I just wanna see what's going on inside. My cake is looking good, cooking, looking beautiful. Let me taste it quickly. Tastes amazing. We're gonna start cooking the french fries over here. This way they're all gonna be ready at the same time. Okay guys, it's time to add the french fries. So that's what I wanna add because the katleti has a lot of seasoning already and black pepper. That's the only thing we're gonna add over here. So let's put them inside the pot. A little update for everything. I'm starting with my Uzbeki Lipioshka. Looking good and chubby. Ooh. Looking good. It smells oh, it bread. Smells so good. <laughs> Catletti. So French fries I just put right now. Looking good also. So French fries has to cook on a high fire. I will check the fire right now. If I need to add a little bit more wood in it, I will add it right now. is I'm gonna fry the mushroom. This is shiitake mushroom. It's gonna go on top of the french fries. Add a little bit of kosher salt on top. All right guys, time to turn the bread. We're gonna leave it another 10 minutes. update see what's going on okay i'm using my selfie cam okay guys couple more minutes we're gonna be ready to eat soon show them the lipioshka see lipioshka katleti is cooking okay Me so we just want to say salute to you guys we're gonna come and show you everything plated we'll see you soon Good. I am starving. So, are you hungry? I didn't have anything to eat since six o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, I'm oh, starving. Okay. okay, guys. Now that we put all of this, now we're gonna put the mushroom on top. The katleti, French fries. Now we're gonna put the mushroom. Oh, they smell so good. Looking good. <laughs> hey, watch me, watch me. Now. <laughs> one second. Can I have one? <laughs> one second. One French fries. <laughs> Maybe guys time to sleep my bread. Oh. Looking good. I wish I could myself. Looking good. Okay, my liposhka is ready. 
Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh my god, they look so good. My homemade wow. dipioshka. Wow, looking good. Wow. Now we're gonna eat it with the katleti. Who's the chef? Who's the chef here? Katleti, french fries, mushroom, bread. I mean, seriously, seriously. I thought I was only a jeweler. But you know what's the most funny thing? I might change my profession if you guys are not gonna support me and come buy jewelry from me. Okay? So let's go taste. Everything is ready. My katleti, french fries, mushroom, and lipioshka. Okay? To be honest with you, it wasn't easy. It was too much to do, but we did it. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start tasting it and tell you in our honest opinion how everything tastes, even to see if lipioshka is ready. It's not easy to do lipioshka in the kazan, so I'm gonna open it next to you and I'll tell you my honest opinion if it's ready, okay? So we're gonna start, me and my wife, by tasting the mushroom, the french fries, katleti, and then lipioshka, okay? So we wanna say salute to you guys. Okay, I'm gonna take katleti, mushroom, and french fries. Not by? By hand, by hand. Ooh, okay. Like, okay, okay, okay. She always like to use a spoon. <laughs> a fork. Okay, guys, ready? Let me try it. Mm. My daughter <laughs> is taking the video. She doesn't know what she's missing. <laughs> amazing. You like it? Oh my god. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. We're gonna break our Uzbeki Lipioshka, okay? I really don't know what it looks like inside, but we'll find out. Look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. It's one of the reasons I did Lipioshka. Because Katleti, when I grew up, I always used to eat it with the bread. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna dip it inside the juice of the, of the Katleti. Watch. My wife is doing the same thing, I like it. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna take a little piece of the katleti. See, katleti, mushrooms, <laughs> French fries, and a juice. Okay, I'm and just a, and a, the bread. And a fresh, fresh, fresh lipioshka. Okay, salute. Salute. And my daughter Polina is videotaping. <laughs> She's dying to taste it. But we taste really it. Am. Taking our sweet time. <laughs> we talking too much to make sure that how the food tastes and this and this and this and she cannot wait to taste it okay so let me taste it oh, i'm about to stop the video so i can just eat <laughs> i'm just putting the bread okay guys in Bukharian nationality my wife is ashkenazi she doesn't know so i prepare for her the sandwich out of respect in Bukharian nationality <laughs> we feed the person who we respect the most and my <laughs> wife happened to be somebody that, <laughs> that i respect the most because we married, you know. <laughs> so watch, guys. <laughs> I never did I don't that. Trust that. That's the first time. No, no. Okay, so now I'm gonna feed my wife. Hey guys, it was a pleasure being with you. The food was amazing. The bread was stunning. I just want to say thank you again. Please subscribe and press the like button. And if you can share it with your friend, it will make us very happy. And uh, if you want to see anything else going forward, please let us know. And stay safe. Take care.